Welcome Capricorn to your reading. This is for Capricorn, uh, Moon Rising and Venus as well as welcome here. Let's see what is coming to you, my dear Capricorn in love. Please remember to like this video if you feel this reading resonated with you, okay? So you have need to breathe. So someone may have taken a, a step back here, um, they need to breathe, but then you also have heavy heart, okay? And you have no one compares. So whoever this person is, they know full and well that nothing compares to the Capricorn. Um, so even if they've been distant or whatever, you sent them back to the streets, Capricorn, they still know that no one compares to you. <laughs> All right, so let's see. What is coming to Capricorn in love, please, Capricorn? Mm. Capricorn, you have temperance reverse. Ooh, I'm hearing someone's going through it. Could be done with a Sagittarius uh, or an Aquarius. The sun reverse. You could also be going through it too. Remember, readings could be interchangeable and vice versa. Wow. So I'm getting this energy, Capricorn, that someone finds it really, really hard to pull it together, you know? Um... I feel like someone is not really happy, you know, um, in their life right now. They're not. They're not really happy. And they may be regretting some kind of decision here as to what they did. They, may, they probably made a poor decision, a poor choice, whatever. You have Leo, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Scorpio. Okay. I'm also hearing Gemini. But um, yeah, you have so much major arcana except the Six of Cups, but oh my goodness. Bottom of the deck, we have the Lover's Reverse. So this may be someone that you broke up with, they broke up with you, whatever. Um, but this is definitely something having to do with the past. So someone in a situation could be having trouble letting go of their connection with you, okay? Maybe they've been trying to walk, walk away or whatever, but someone's having a hard time letting go of the past, the history or something like that. Okay, now for others of you, it could be a case to where someone is still holding on to their past, like an ex or something like that, and that could be causing disharmony between you two, you know, because if you're still holding on to an ex, I mean, of course, it's going to cause problems. If you're trying to, you know, live in the present and move forward, how are you going to keep looking back in the past, right? So that's what I feel is going on here. Um, somebody could be like really depressed or drinking a lot, um... It's like this energy of someone going through the motions is what I keep hearing. Like, like this, this person's not getting any peace. Someone's not getting any peace without having like something or someone in their life. So this someone could be all out of whack, all out of balance. Okay, um, having lost somebody or something like that. Okay, is what I'm feeling. I feel like maybe someone's issues, um, the past doesn't also doesn't always have to do with like love and um, romantic relationships. It can have to, something to do with trauma, their own childhood traumas and stuff like that. So I'm hearing that someone is feeling like some kind of way because of how they may have treated the other person. You know, maybe their deep seated issues cause them to treat the other person a certain kind of way. Okay, um, and there could be some kind of realization about that. Like, wow, I can't believe I, I, I you know, <laughs> I, I, I do need help. Okay, um, and for others of you, it, it's probably something along the lines of someone having regrets um, or feeling some kind of way about what they did in the past. Okay, either way, someone is feeling pretty screwed up. Okay, what is the star reverse? I feel like someone's trying to get over it, though, but it's not working. Someone's been trying their best to, you know, get over whatever they've done, okay, to try to turn over a new leaf. They, they've been trying. Um, someone could have had some drinking problems, 
Okay, so like I said, moral of the story, something with regards to the past greatly influenced this connection. Okay, whether if it was deep-seated issues that caused turmoil between you two and ultimately sabotaged the connection, okay? Or it has something to do with the other person um, having done something and that something is different for all of you that, um, you know, ended up costing them this relationship or connection, okay? What is the star for Capricorn? Sorry, the sun reverse for Capricorn. The hangman. Yep, somebody's realizing. Somebody's having some real tough realizations here about how their behavior, you know, has ultimately affected, you know, everything today. Okay. I do get the energy of someone being stuck on something or someone from the past. And that something could be you, Capricorn. Okay. Yeah, somebody really regrets acting like the Five of Swords towards, you know, the other person. Someone really regrets that. And it could have to do with unresolved issues of their past or just unresolved issues of like prior relationships and things like that. Okay. So someone, I do feel like someone sabotaged this connection, Capricorn. I'm sorry, but all my money is on sabotaging. Um, they sabotage your connection. Someone did that. And I feel like it's just now that they're really realizing that they've awakened to, you know, their actions and, and what they've done. Yep, they've awakened. What is the tower for Capricorn in love? The tower. And now somebody wants to try to fix and rebuild that tower. That's what's going on. Clarifying the tower is the eight of pentacles. Somebody would want to essentially, if they could, they would want to go back in the past and correct their mistakes or go back in the past and do something differently, Capricorn. That's what I'm getting. If this is a brand new person, um, this person could still be like trying to fix another relationship with someone else. They could still be holding on to their past person. Okay. And I mean, keep you can't keep trying to rebuild something that's already broken. Okay. I'm hearing something about the damage being done. Someone acted a fool. Someone acted a fool. And they regret it. Someone acted a straight fool. Okay. And I feel like if this person really could, as I said, they would really go back in the past and correct what they did. Death. death and some of you could have something to do with like you know being emotionally unavailable okay not really nurturing the other person not being warm not being loving being the opposite of that being neglectful you know letting their lower vibrations their past influence their current relationship and connection um so yeah since this is a general reading guys you know, this is something that you're going to have to place yourself where you see fit. But I mean, this, I mean, everything has, is kind of blowing up in somebody's face here. You know, everything is blowing up in someone's face here. They're like, damn, I sabotaged this. Damn, I screwed up. Damn, maybe I should have put the bottle down <laughs> and not drink so much. Damn, maybe I should have got some therapy. And ultimately, someone doesn't want to deal with it anymore. I can see Capricorn where, for some of you, this could be something like about, you know, self-enlightenment. 
you know maybe you're, you're starting to realize what has been holding you back in your relationships what's been screwing up your relationships and you're probably realizing okay i do need help for what i've been through i need some kind of therapy you know i need to find some resources that type of deal okay but yeah i mean it just wasn't a nice connection whatever happened whatever this was was not nice it was not nice at all but yeah you had you definitely have someone who's going through the motions i'm hearing someone could be crying a lot um just thinking about what happened what they did if you're cross watching for a capricorn this is something you experience with them you know, this capricorn is probably like really realizing the error of their ways what they've done okay that's why heavy heart came out and i'm hearing that someone probably really loved and nurtured someone to no return and all the other person got in return was just you know you abusing me and neglecting me you know i was there for you i did this i did that you know i keep hearing that which may have led to a breakup Anything else for Capricorn, please, in this love situation? I feel the need to pull, like, a few more cards. Anything else for Capricorn in this love situation? You know, the Ten of Swords is in the reverse. I mean, someone put a lot of swords in the other person's back. Now, Capricorn, like I said, this doesn't mean that especially if this is a new person that this is, you know, you did it, right? This could be something they experienced with someone else, which is causing them a lot of problems in your connection, okay? So now I feel like eventually someone does intend to work through their baggage, work through their problems, and to come back and try to have a more of a stable relationship, Capricorn. Four of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Because it wasn't stable before. You know, this this tower came crashing down. Okay, the tower is an event that happens to, you know, um, that way you're on a much better path. You're on a much better, um, you know, foundation with each other. So this is probably something that even had to happen. Things had to fall apart that way it can come back together the right way. What does this person want to say to Capricorn, please? What do we have? Deep-seated issues, like I said. This person's crying. Someone's crying a lot. Okay. Yeah, someone's crying a lot. And eventually, they're definitely going to want to start all over. See how I really want to kiss you. They say nothing makes sense without you. You have I'm sorry. They're depressed. This freak is depressed. They know that you're too good for them. Okay? And they're very lonely. This could be a Libra. You have Aquarius. This could be a twin flame connection. Some of you, if you have children with this freak, they say they want their family back. Okay, let's work on our relationship. Yeah, this freak, I'm hearing something about like abusing alcohol or drugs or maybe they had some, some, some problem like that. So Capricorn, if you're hoping that this person comes around and they fix these problems and you are open to being with them again, then understand it's, it's you know, it's not going to be something overnight. Um, and by the looks of it, it may take some take them some time to come around. Okay. 
with this Knight of Pentacles. Because I feel like first and foremost, someone knows that they need to get rid of their baggage. I'm hearing this freak is drinking and smoking some more, <laughs> okay, to try to get over you. This person has it bad. This freak is losing it. They're not handling this well, okay? Very similar to Aries. You could be connected to an Aries. Okay. All right, my lovely Capricorn. That is what I have for you guys. Um... Let me pull one more card here. What is important for Capricorn to know, please, in this love situation? All right, twin flame. So this is more than likely a twin flame connection. All right, and then you have second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. Yeah, this person's damaged. There's something really wrong with them, okay? This freak is going through it. Anyway, love you guys so much. <laughs> um, you know, I do want to clarify, like, heavy heart. Yeah, someone's not handling this breakup too well with the heavy heart. They're not. Or the separation. And they know that they need to change. They know that if this is to come together. You see, this person is full of regret and remorse. They know they need to change, guys. Or they need to, you know, do away with the past. All right, love you guys. Talk to you guys soon.